Kashal Kaushal welcome everyone on the brand new episode of Science Bits only on Bharata First. This season is all about science which is simplified in a short, crisp and a unique manner by the experts. This platform provides a unique opportunity to explore your scientific temper and skills. Science Bits involves explanation of the topics ranging from the recent trends and developments in the field of science and technology to the discussion of the previous year questions and potential concepts which are important from the perspective of competitive exams. Let your curiosity out and ask questions through a form whose link has been provided in the description box below. Do make use of this opportunity. Now, I would like to introduce to a science expert, Dr. T.V. Venkateshwaran, who is here with us to answer the questions. Dr. T.V. Venkateshwaran is a senior scientist at Vigyan Prasar, New Delhi. He is also founder of India Science Wire. So, the today's question is, what is Pacify, a sky-serving project? Also, what are its importance? So, before we understand this, we need to understand something called as uh, polarized and non-polarized. Okay. Uh, let's look at, for example, a pond. And uh, there is a wave in the pond. Okay. The wave in the pond will go up and down, right? Uh, when you are sitting on the edge of pond, you can see that it is going up and down. Light is also a wave, right? So when the light uh, uh, is a wave, how will it go? If you are, let's say I'm standing, the wave can go up and down. But that's not necessary, right? Because it's a light and it is going in uh, the space, it need not go up and down. It can go also sideways, right? So it's not only up and down and sideways, but it can go in 360 degrees in any side, but it has to go up and down or rather it has to go uh, like a wave uh, increase and decrease. A non-polarized light is a light where uh, the uh, oscillations are happening in all 360 degree. Okay, There is a path, direction of path. So if I look at the direction of path around it, 360 degree, okay, the uh, light oscillates. That's a non-polarized light. If there is a polarizer, when uh, the light goes through that polarizer, then what happens is that you get a polarized light, meaning that the rest are all filtered out. Only a particular oscillation, oscillation in a particular direction is uh, permitted to go through it. It's like a sheave, okay. So the polarizer. So if I have a two polarizer uh, in uh, 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 one in one direction, the other is exactly in uh, uh, the perpendicular, I'm sorry, uh, horizontal direction, then uh, a pol non-polarized light entering one, there'll be no light on the other side. Okay. So this is uh, something about a polarization and uh, how polarizer reduces and creates a polarized light. This we have to understand. So now, for example, light coming from a star will be initially non-polarized. But suppose if that uh, light uh, enters, a, uh, uh, let's say, a dust uh, cloud, which is magnetized, okay, if there is a magnetic field in that uh, dust cloud, then the magnetic uh, dust cloud, magnetized uh, dust cloud will act like a polarizer, okay. So that's the uh, important part. So, uh, this is polar area stellar imaging in polarization, high accuracy experiment. So, basically what it tries to do is that in both polar areas, that is North Pole and South Pole, simultaneously, look at distant stars. Okay. These are all stars away from the galactic plane. So, look at the dist distant stars. Find out what is the polarization that has happened to this starlight. Okay. So, polarization, uh, how will it happen? As I said, there is a star, there is a, a gas cloud here. So, this uh, gas cloud has a, a magnetic uh, uh, lines. Okay. So, because of that magnetic lines, there will be a polarized light coming to us. Okay. That's what uh, will happen. Right. So, why this is useful? Why I want to do this? Because there is a wave coming from behind, much behind the stars, called as a cosmic microwave background. What is that? That is the light that began when the universe was formed. 
okay in this slide there will be some polarization but uh, when that uh, cosmic radiation comes when it passes through this uh, gas cloud that is also polarized right but i don't know what was its original so how do i find out suppose if i know that there is a gas cloud here and it is polarizing in a particular uh, uh, way then the cosmic uh, background coming from here i can uh, reduce this right i can remove this and then find out the real cosmic background radiation these are all something very similar to for example image manipulation you know in a software that we are using in our mobile right so it's uh, like that basically error correction mechanisms so what happens is that uh, different clouds will uh, uh, have different uh, magnetic uh, uh, orientation because of that there will be different uh, levels of uh, 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 polarization okay that's the uh, important thing uh, so uh, from uh, the uh, by if i look at uh, the uh, neutral hydrogen one kind of radiation i can even find out whether in between there was only one cloud or two clouds okay so all that uh, will be available to me in my uh, uh, result okay so from that i can find out the clouds that also their uh, uh, magnetic orientation okay so uh, basically like this suppose if there is a telescope and i'm looking at it in one direction and there are two uh, uh, gas clouds in the space okay no, i'm not talking about clouds in our atmosphere i'm talking about stellar region interstellar uh, medium okay if there is a dust dust cloud that uh, dust cloud uh, uh, i can uh, measure its uh, uh, polar from the polarization i can measure where is the dust cloud and what is its uh, magnetic orientation and so on and so forth so when i look at the distant stars i can uh, find out uh, through that uh, the uh, uh, various regions of uh, magnetic uh, uh, in the uh, uh, our galaxy okay it's uh, similar to a tomography like uh, when you go for a scan right what is happening you are you are put inside one scan machine it creates a three dimensional image right so similarly i'll get a three dimensional image of uh, the uh, dust clouds so if, if i subtract that from the uh, microwave background sorry if i subtract that from uh, uh, microwave background radiation then i can get the real microwave uh, background uh, uh, radiation i can get the original uh, variations uh, that will tell us more about how the universe originated okay so that is the uh, 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 idea behind this uh, project